raining that's why I haven't been out and it, the river sky high so I can't look for airheads I can in the woods but the ground's still too wet too much rain to use a wiggle pick but I'm walking around the rain usually does this place good I usually find marbles and coins and stuff and I got my first find I've only been here a couple minutes right here it's like a clear base like lemonade marble let's hope it's whole it's all there it's nothing spectacular but uh hold on let me get it wiped off and i'll be right back later all right it's like a lemonade translucent swirl it's kind of nice but nothing to brag about but that white there is like a cream milk and it's got bubbles in it it's kind of cool um i'll get back if i see anything else laying out later all right, you can see there's just all kinds of dirt and it's where I've raked and there's all kinds of erosion because of the rain. Um, we, it rained pretty good. Man, I got a shooter, folks. Just picked this up, still got it in my hand, haven't even put it in my bag yet or my pocket and just was walking around right where I was raking. Look at this. It's a one inch. It's got green swirls. It's looking pretty nice. Oh man, the big it's big shooters. You can't beat that. It'd be better if it was like yellow with green swirls, but I'll take it. Let me get it cleaned off and I'll show you later. Alright, it's a good start. There's this marble cleaned off and that, that fold there. We dropped that one. It hit dirt, so it's alright. You can see that fold there. I think that's a pawnal mark. Um it's like a C shaped one, smiley face, you can see it there. Um that's a beautiful marble. It's real nice condition, big. I'd say that's a handmade. I got this one. Might be some kind of acro lemonade type deal. I've seen these before. Might not be, but I think it is. Two nice ones. Laid out. All right, just didn't have any markings on the bottom, but it's a little piece of stoneware that'll clean up nice. It's brown on the inside. It's like glaze. It's perfect. Little crock like thing. Laid out. All right, I saw this flash. It's smaller than an average size marble. I think it could be a bead, but I'm betting it's a marble. It's right here. Oh, man. It's an awesome one. Let me get it cleaned off. Well, I guess it's a bead. It is a bead. It's a ceramic bead. It's like crockery. Let me get it cleaned off. Later. All right, that's what it is. It's some kind of like ceramic bead, like crockery type stuff. Pretty nice. Lay that. All right, I neither had to be marbles in here because I'm below where I found a lot of them on the next flat down on the slope. But right here, got something. Oh, folks, look at this! Another smoker. I love these cobalt balloons. Let me get it cleaned off later. Well, you people that are into marbles and collect them, man, that's nice, isn't it? Look at that. Just glaze blue. Clear base with what? Oh, I love these ones. Probably get about a dozen of them from this year from up here. Maybe more than that. I don't know. Got a lot of marbles. Watch my other videos later. All right, I'm digging in that ash layer back here, and I saw a marble flash, and I knew what it is. I saw it. It's a Marble King bumblebee. It's a classic Marble King type. And this one would be St. Mary's Factory. See how deep I am? I'm in an old layer. Be early St. Mary's. Look at that. Wow, beautiful one. Well. Looks like it has a chip, but I'll show it anyway. Because it's a classic type. It does. It has a chip. So ruined. I'll clean it off later. Alright, here it is. It's a classic Marble King type. You can see why it's called a Bumblebee. It's Bumblebee colors. But it's got a chip on it. It would have been a nice one. See the rust stain on it there. But too bad. Later. Alright. There's a look at some of the stuff I've been raking out. But I just got kind of a cool bottle. I've found this before, but I like it. It's an old uh, Fairview Wine Corporation of Maine flask. It's nice condition. Pretty cool bottle. Later. All right, I got a marble down here in the hole. See if you can see it. So it fall out of the wall. It's right here. Let me see what we got. Oh, it's one of them clear base ones. I'll get it cleaned off and show you. It's a nice one. Later. All right, look at this smoker just completely translucent and if you roll it over here that's not damaged that's like a fold like a pawnal mark like a snip I think this is some kind of real old 
transition on right there's the panel that's not damaged you can tell it's not chipped it's just like a bad panel mark like a rough one I think that's what it is but there's another marble put this one in my pocket and I'll get back and show you anything else I find later hey I don't I don't really like these ACL spray on labeled bottles but this one's blue glass this is one of the nicer ones it's a crown royal and it looks like it's got nice graphics on it see where it was sticking down in there um yeah see all the, this will clean up great that's a nice bottle and it's blue glass and there's no damage to it um let me see if it says anything on the bottom here um 1957 357 it says in contents and some numbers but that's a decent find for free later all right i was cleaning back out my hole and i got another marble um let me see if i can't get in the sun there there we go you see it looks like a cat eye um it is it's a white one found one of these the last time i was here just like it let me get it cleaned off later these little things are following me thought that was a little like Bennington marble with a unique glaze but it's another one of them beads you can see the holes there in the end and it's ceramic must be a whole necklace in here or something I'll take them that's pretty cool look cool with marbles later well I moved so I could try to find some bottles and man I got down in here in a layer right above an ash layer man did I just ever get an awesome cork look at this cork whiskey um, and look at the front of it. It's, I think it says Old Quaker. Oh, and it's got a Quaker embossed on it. Wow, fakes. I don't have this. That'll be a nice addition to my collection. Not really old, but 60 or 70 years old anyway. Nice find. Very cool. Later. All right, I'm doing all right. I found another marble in between, but it was just one of these orange cat eyes, and I found a lot of them. Um, but right here, got a nice blue and white swirl. It's looking nice, and that's an old vintage marble, and it looks nice condition. Um, I'll get it cleaned off and show you. Another great find. Later. Well, this has a nice swirls on it. Real nice condition. Another quality piece for my collection. Got another one, fakes. That's unique right in there. Later. Man, I just raked this out and this would have been awesome. It's real nice condition. It's got a slug plate there, circle, but there's no embossing on it. I'm still gonna take it because it's an old milk. But I got a marble down here. Um right, right here, it looks like a dandy. Let's see what oh look at this. Oh, it's got color and it's clear base. Oh, it's nice. Uh, oh, it's nice. It looks like pink on it. I'll get it cleaned off later. Yeah, it has pink on it. Look at that color. Uh, let me wake this off a second. That's probably better. Look at that. Real nice piece. Wow, that's nice, folks. Later. All right, I just reached out another marble. It's a cobalt blue one. It's like got some wisps on it. Um, it's pretty nice. Later. All right, there's a marble down here on the ground, right by my rake. I've been finding these types today, and both of them's been broke. I didn't show one. It was just a half of one, but it's a Marble King bumblebee. And this one looks whole. Um, yeah. Look at it. Looks nice. I'll clean it off later. All right, it's a nice one. It's got some rust staining on it, but a little lime away, and that'll come off, and you won't even be able to see it. But that's a nice condition, nice bumblebee, classic Marble King, St. Mary's type. Later. Well, it must be my lucky day again. I don't know if you can see this, but I got a shooter, and it's, I can see green, blue, white, and red on it right now, right here. Look at this. Oh, man, look at that that looks clear base oh this is awesome folks 
Oh, day maker. I'll get it cleaned off later. All right, I'm back. Man, talk about a smoker. You know, this is just awesome. Look at this, folks. Wow, yellow, red, green, blue, maroon, white. There's little other swirls of colors in this. That's just nice, and it's one inch. Man, I'm blessed, and I appreciate everybody watching. Um, I haven't had time to respond to a lot of comments, and that's because I've just been out doing this. It takes a, lot, it takes a 12, 13-hour day to find all this stuff and get the video on. So I'm doing my best, folks. Later. All right, I just got this broken jug whiskey jug it would have been awesome but i just got this little guy i thought i'd cheese he's holding some kind of like uh gun or something like a i don't know like a timer to, for speed I'm not sure later all right i'm still back in here digging marbles um nice looking cat eye here uh, i'll just clean it off right now it's just an average marble might be two two colors of blue but it, they're pretty close Later. All right, I'm raking back in there. I just got this marble. Looks like cat eye, but it's not. It's just a clear base marble with white wisp to it. A little bit on the surface. Pretty cool. And over here, I'll show you this stuff. Hold on, let me put this in there. Look at all them marbles today. I just got this little embossed Whitmers, and it says Columbus, Indiana on the bottom. I got this really, look at that textured stuff on there. I think it says something. Well, no, I thought it did there. But that's just like a crackle design. And look at that top on that. If it would have had a paper label. I'll make one to put on that. That'll be awesome. The stopper in it. But I'm doing all right. I'm keeping at it. Later. All right, I'm just kind of walking around and looking at places where I've dug because it's rained. And there's lots of places I've dug, so I'm just kind of taking a break and doing this. And I found a marble it's sticking right out of the side of the wall here. See if you can locate it. Now, do you see it? What about now? It's right here. That rain washed this one out. See if it's whole. It's all there. I think this is one of these clear base ones yeah it's clear base it, the sun's not really out but i've found other ones like this you know that's a, a pretty nice marble it's a nice condition and it's old later all right i raked this out up in there um it's a nice acl painted soda and you know i'm in the dump so not very many of them come out this nice. This is probably my best one of these. I'm going to take it. It says Marietta uh, Sparkling Beverages made from Crystal Spring Water. And on the back at all oh, this is there. Marietta Haya. Uh, say it's from the 30s or 40s. It's pretty nice. Later. All right, I'm back. Here's some of the better finds. Got this. I don't think I filmed that little cobalt blue. Check that out. Um, it's real nice. Get this little stainware piece here, a Whitmer's, several little bottles. That's a little prescription that has numbers and stuff on it. And like a, I got this wine, I got this big bottle, it's real cool. Um, I got another wine, I don't think I showed that one, it's embossed with grapes. A little corker, love this old Quaker bottle. Got this thing, got all these marbles. This one's just, wow, that's a month maker. Look at that, can't even believe it. Um, a couple of these are broke. I just, there's another broken piece right here. Half of a bumblebee. I talked about that, but there's lots of nice ones. You'll see pictures. Well, anyway, folks, thanks for watching. It was a pretty good day. Later.